Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Mix It Up in the Kitchen. That's right, Mix It Up in the Kitchen. This is an open collaboration, and my name is Brenda. I'm the host. Hi, everybody. Good morning. Um, what you do is you can make anything you want and just post it. That's right, anything you want. It can be anywhere, anything, as long as it's kitchen-related. And... Um, you can make a recipe, you can just do a cookbook, you can do a cooking utensil, you can do anything you would like. That's it. I had, um, this morning, I had a different video I was going to post. I worked on it last night. I took an old video and was going to um, put my twist on it and upload it. And I did everything and uploaded and had a release time and it didn't. It disappeared. I have no idea where it went. Yeah. And it was um, lasagna in the Instapot. And it comes out great. I got many, many views on it. And I thought I'd share with you. But I am going to make it. I just had it last night. I'll make it again and make a brand new video and show you. But um, to change my wheels this morning, I thought I would show you a family cookbook that was handed down to me. This is Janet's cookbook, um, a family cookbook, and um, where she can no longer cook or anything. It was handed down to me because they know how much I love cooking. So um, I wanna share a few things with you. And this is something I thought was cute. And it's right here in the cookbook in case you want to take a still. It's right here. It says, recipe for a happy home. Four cups of love, two cups of loyalty, three cups of forgiveness, one cup of friendship, five spoons of hope, two spoons of tenderness, four quarts of faith, one barrel of laughter, one cup of kindness and three cups of understanding. Take love and loyalty, mix it thoroughly, thoroughly with faith. Blend it with tenderness, kindness and understanding and friendship and hope. Sprinkle a bounty with laughter, bake it with sunshine, um, bake it with sunshine, Serve daily with generous helpings. Isn't that nice? This is a very nice cookbook. Um, they've taken pictures from way back when. The whole family had participated in um, putting recipes in. I'll just show you. I'll just show you a few. I don't think you can see, but... Um, it's very nice paper and somebody put a lot of work into this. Let's see what I can find here that would go with what's going on right now. There's pumpkin soup. Oh, blueberry salad. Hmm. It says, why would they call it blueberry salad? One large package of raspberry jello, one and a, a half cup of boiling water, one large can of crushed pineapple, one can of blueberry pie filling, save a tablespoon for garnish. That's where it is. In an eight by eight dish, mix it all together, then refrigerate until set. And then you want to top it with eight ounces of cream cheese eight ounces of sour cream and a half a cup of sugar. Mix together and frost the top of jello mixture and refrigerate. And there's the recipe right here. And right beside it, it says grandpa with Kit at Fayette House, 1955 Chevy wagon in the background. Back. People still work with their horses here today. Oh yeah. 
But this is a really nice cookbook. I think I will post that recipe so you all can, I'll put a little, I don't like to turn my pages over, but I'm going to get off here. Um, this is a beautiful family cookbook. I was thinking, um, I saw Janet in here. Now if I can only find it where she was. They try to incorporate everybody in the book, all the family members, which was nice. Let's see, page 11. They wrote it when they gifted her the book. It says center front was Janet in, in the plaid. So there is my stepmom, Janet. Whoops, I can't see, right here. Boy, that's a throwback to the day. Okay, everybody. This is the wonderful family cookbook that I was gifted. Um, I have a very, very busy two days. I have a party tomorrow. That's why I'm not baking today or cooking. So have a wonderful day. God bless. We'll see you in my next video. Oh, yeah. I got two more to do in between my cleaning. Have a great day and a wonderful weekend. Bye now.